This man, interviewed in Chicago yesterday, appears to be the suspect authorities have been talking about for the past week. He says they told him he was, but he says they're wrong. This is the man's pickup truck, seized by Chicago authorities last week and still held. The search warrant used on the truck lists several items seized, including a hunting knife and handcuffs, apparently the same evidence now being examined by the FBI in Washington. That evidence, Indiana authorities have indicated, could eventually lead them back to this Hendricks County field, where Daniel McNeevy was found brutally stabbed to death in May, and to a field about 14 miles from here, where John Roach was found similarly slain five months earlier. It was investigators of the local gay murders task force probing those crimes and six other deaths who identified the suspect for Chicago authorities investigating a similar crime there last August. But officials directing the task force here have downplayed the lead. The state police spokesman even denying the man was a suspect after he was detained by Indiana authorities for 12 hours and the evidence was seized. The man detained, who owns the truck, says he's innocent. If, if I was, if, if was going to murder someone, I certainly wouldn't just leave the things back there and let them, you know, just sit there. I mean, I'd certainly be smart enough not to just leave them sit there like that. It's not, it doesn't take too much of a genius to know if you did kill somebody, you wouldn't just leave, leave a knife with their blood on it just sitting in the back of your truck where the police could come and take you away. Well, they've arrested him without a warrant. They've taken his vehicle without a warrant. They've, they've searched the vehicle. They've put him into a situation of pure, undulterated hell. They violated his constitutional rights. And they violated in such a manner that if they proceed to indict him, all the evidence they've gotten, all of they've done, be all for naught because of the fact in violating his constitutional rights, it all should be excluded. Chicago authorities believe the current lead with the evidence taken will solve a series of gay murders there and in Indiana. Well, we would hope that it would lead to uh, clearing them all up. Uh, due to the consistencies and the type of uh, murders that they were, uh, uh, I think they're all tied together. I, I'm reasonably sure of that. But that's a lot more than Indiana authorities will say publicly, still refusing today even to be interviewed on the matter. Cy Jenkins for the News, Channel 6.